Hi everyone, this is John Sowash, and today I'm going to give you a quick preview of the new Team Drive, a uh, new feature of Google Drive that allows uh, small teams to collaborate more effectively um, and uh, manage shared documents much uh, more simply. Team Drive is currently in uh, beta release. Uh, you must be a member of the early adopter program in order to um, test out Team Drive. It's expected to launch to the public, to everyone, all Google uh, domains, sometime in January. You can see I'm in my uh, Google Apps for Education account, and I have a new um, drive uh, right underneath my drive you can now see this team drive area which is pretty cool it's kind of like the old C drive a drive uh, D drive that you may have had on a computer so it's two very separate areas that you can see um, when I click on team drive it's very uh, material design uh, if you use Google classroom very similar to that uh, kind of looks like your courses if uh, if you will I can go ahead and create a new team drive and um, it's just kind of a, a folder of sorts, I guess you'd say. Um, the coloring, the background, all of that is automatically applied at this time. There's no way to adjust that, so you kind of get what you get. It looks very Google-esque, uh, Google Drive, um, like you normally would. Up here at the top, you can see uh, an area um, that you can add your team members. And this works almost the same as sharing a Google document. There's a, just a couple of differences. So if I type in uh, someone's name, oops. So here's a uh, member of my domain and I can share that with them. I'm actually gonna go in and add that. So just a couple of minor differences from regular drive sharing. So I'm gonna go into manage members here and in addition to your typical, you know, edit access, view access, comment access, you have something called full access. And that not only gives that particular user the ability to edit files, but also to manage team, the team settings, memberships to add or remove individuals. So essentially this full access should be considered as kind of like group manager. And then if you wanted someone to just be a member of the team, you would give them just edit access. Now at this time, you can only share a team drive to a um, person within your own organization. Um, that will change and expand as more people have access uh, to team drive. Another interesting thing that uh, I was a little surprised at, if I add a file to my team drive, I cannot make it publicly viewable. So it can only be viewed within my organization. That's the highest uh, sharing level that I can set. I'm not sure if that's going to be expanded or not, but you do need to be aware that if you create a file within a team drive, you can't set it uh, to public visibility. So that's a little bit about the sharing. Um, obviously, you can add all of the common uh, Google Drive file types in here, doc sheets, slides, forms, etc. At this time, um, ex uh, connected apps, so other Google Drive apps, uh, Pear Deck, WeVideo, Kami, things like that are not supported in Team Drive. So it's just the basic uh, Google Drive tools. So I'm just create a document in here so you can see. Um, no additional functionality from the actual tools themselves, uh, but after I create this document, uh, it'll show up in my team drive and all members of my team will have access to it. Now the interesting thing about this and kind of the key feature of team drive, which is uh, kind of invisible, is the fact that document ownership resides with the team, not with the creator of the document. So I created this test doc in my team drive. You'll notice there is no owner column like there typically is. If I leave the team or leave my organization, that document re uh, remains inside of the team drive. And that's kind of the whole point of team drives. Um, prevents the common issue where a uh, user leaves an organization, their account gets deleted or suspended, and all of the resources that they have created potentially um, get lost as well. So the, the basic idea is if you're working um, you know, in education, you'd think of uh, curriculum, maybe special ed, administration. If you create important original files, curriculum maps, um, things like that in the team drive, those resources will last well beyond the tenure of any individual uh, user. So I've got a couple other team drives I've set up here. Um, 
just to show you a couple different things. Uh, Team Drive does support Google Groups, so I was able to add a large group with like 20 members in it rather than adding them individually. Um, that's not any different than Google Drive, but uh, certainly does make it easy to manage uh, your files effectively. One of the biggest issues right now with Team Drive is that if I have existing resources that I've created that I want to move into a Team Drive, I cannot do it. At this time, the ability to move an existing folder or a file from your personal drive account into Team Drives is uh, not allowed. Now that's probably due to the ownership uh, change in the fact that if you were to add that, you would lose ownership of that file. I do not know what will happen with that in the future. Certainly it's something that we need to be able to do. It probably will give you some kind of a warning that says you're about to add this to a team drive. You will lose ownership of these files. Do you want to make copies of them? Do you wish to continue? Something along the, those lines. So that's a bit of an issue. Right now, there really isn't a way to get existing content into uh, a team drive. But it's early. I'm sure there uh, are many additional features that will be added. Team drive is going to be a great tool for organizations organizations to help manage um, important documents uh, that many people are accessing. Um, another thing that's uh, interesting, if someone adds a file to a team drive that I am a member of, that file does not show up in the shared with me area of Google Drive. This has been a huge point of frustration for users because stuff comes in here and just kind of gets lost in the clutter. So um, uh, team drive files only show up in the team drive, not in uh, personal drives, and also not in the shared with me area. If you have any questions about team drive, feel free to leave a comment. Happy to answer them and uh, hear your thoughts on team drive uh, as well. Thanks.